All right, Pisons, what's going on out there? It's your boy Screwface Capone, the gamey mobster in the house. You doing all right? Of course you are. You're above ground. You're still breathing. It's Friday night, and you're here with me on YouTube. How awesome is that? How can you not be doing good, right? Anyway, if you're new to the channel, or even if you're one of my recent subscribers, thank you for that. This is what I, this is a segment I like to call Trailer Takedown. You know, one of the things I like to do on this channel is spotlight upcoming games, particularly upcoming indie developed games. So I take a look at the game's trailer and basically get my thoughts on it based on what I see. So the goal is try to find out as much as we can about it and, you know, see if we can build up some anticipation for it. So anyway, these past few years, we've been seeing a lot of new life sims being announced. We all know about The Sims, um, we all know about the upcoming Sims 5 or whatever they end up calling it, but there's also games like, you got Life by You, which is going to be um, jumping into Early Access next year, you've got Pair Lives that's been in development for what seems like forever, you also got Pixelia, which is a two-dimensional 16-bit style life sim, and you got a bunch of others out there that um, I really can't think of right at, right at this moment. Anyway, earlier this week, though, we learned about a brand new life sim that's coming out. This is called Enzoi, and it's being developed by um, Korean-based developer Krafton, and it's a life sim, obviously, but it utilizes Unreal Engine 5. So we're going to take a look at the trailer, and then we're going to give my thoughts about it. So let's take that off. Let's put this on. So this is the gameplay demo. So we're going to see a lot here. AR company. Take a break. You finally see. The journey itself was a true gift. But you know what? There we go. Didn't realize the uh, speakers weren't on. First of all, that's an impressive level of graphics. And I think we're seeing what's called the, what's the menu. Or the main UI, I should say. So you're at work and stuff. There's a computer segment. You can work in a convenience store, I guess. So it's like a cyber cafe. Ooh, a firefighter. So it's like you got stuff like chores and hobbies and painting and stuff. At least we know they'll have kids and infants at launch. Okay. 
So here's the character creation. Looks very realistic and lots of physical tweaking options. So you got lots of different options for ethnicity, so that's good. So you can make your guy look like Young, yeah. Drip. Oh, Joker. <laughs> so another thing I noticed, it looks like they got something similar to that um, creative style tool in Sims 3. Um, I loved that and I was really disappointed that he took it out of Sims 4. And of course, here's the building. This looks very nice. So if if you like to build, if you're one of those Sims players who like to build your dream house, you're definitely not going to be disappointed. I certainly hope they put a stall around there. I just see myself taking a dump and somebody walking in. That's one nice ass bathroom though. Allergy city. Unless those plants are plastic. And there's a the kid's room. Looks nice. So can you change the environment too? We got the weather. That weather looks nice. So you got screen options, and there's the baby. Uh-oh, fights and arguments. And we make up. You give presents. Kind of hope somebody pulls out a blick. Uh-oh. Is that what I think it was? Wait, let, let me look at that again. Uh-oh. You know what that means. Woke. But yeah, it looks nice so far. Alright, so I haven't really been able to find anything on their site about the game. So this is their main website. And this is actually their news section. So as you can see, they've done development work on games like uh, PUBG Battlegrounds, um, Ronin The Last Samurai, Subnautica. So I guess they're a big esports company, or esports focused anyway. But of course you got this uh, G-Star event, where they're showing off some of their games. Um, you got Dark and Darker Mobile, and of course here's Enzoi. So this is in Korea, and it's actually going on right now. So if there are any kinfolk in Korea... And you're able to swing by this and you're able to play the demo, then hop in the comments and let me know what you thought about it. But yeah, that's about it. Um, they also got an Instagram page where you can see some videos from the event. 
But yeah, that's Enzoi. So the the game definitely looks nice. And it looks like it's all got all the right hits when it comes to an actual life sim. It's got the character customization. It's got the careers, the hobbies, and the building. And the building and customization to me are some of the most important things. Because I'll spend hours at a time um, just building up houses and creating entire families and households of people to live in them. And just creating my own stories. I know a bunch of other YouTubers have expressed their concerns about it. I haven't seen those videos yet, and this is actually the first I've ever seen of this trailer. So, if there's something deeper, or if there, are, or if more information comes out, then I'll be sure to do a follow-up. Yeah, but for now, um, if you're new to the channel, then I like to cover indie games, and I like to cover retro titles. And I'll do everything from reviews, previews, to unboxings, to lists, to documentaries, just whatever's on my mind that's gaming-related. So if that sounds good to you and you want to join the Mafia, or at the very least you want to see something beside Fortnite and Call of Duty videos, then this is the channel for you. What I want you to do is hit that big red subscribe button, click the bell icon, that way you'll be the first to know whenever I put out new material, and of course, I'll make you a made man. And if you check the description below, then you can find me on social media through my link tree, and you can also get my affiliate link for Fanatical. That's a website where you can buy Steam games. They're not this big bulk key reseller scam site like G2A is. They're actually pretty legit. And they offer some pretty awesome deals all the time. So if you use my affiliate link below, you can go there, save on some of the biggest games that came out this year. And I'll get a little cut of that whenever you make a purchase. But for now, enjoy your weekend. And I'm Audi 51000G, y'all.